Noah's Ark. How is it possible? The story of Noah's Ark is one of the most famous in the Bible and has fascinated people for centuries. The idea of a massive ship that was built to survive a flood that destroyed everything else on Earth is truly impressive. But how was it possible to construct such a structure without the modern technology we have today? In this video, we will explore how the construction of Noah's Ark compares to modern engineering. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay up to date with our updates. First, it's important to note that Noah's Ark was built over 4,000 years ago, at a time when modern technology did not exist. The construction of the Ark was a process that required a great deal of time, skill, and dedication from Noah and his family. According to the Bible, Noah's Ark was 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. In modern terms, this means it was approximately 137 meters long, 23 meters wide, and 14 meters high. Additionally, it is estimated to have weighed around 45,000 tons. Wood was the material used to construct the ark. It is believed that Noah and his family primarily used cypress and pine wood, as these trees have a high resistance to water and are able to support the weight of such a large structure. One of the main concerns in the construction of the ark was the strength and stability of the structure on water. To address this, Noah and his family used a technique called, keel construction, which is used in shipbuilding to provide stability and prevent the ship from capsizing in the water. Keel construction involves creating a solid central beam, called the keel, that runs the length of the ship and serves as the foundation on which the rest of the structure is built. This technique is still used in the construction of modern ships. Another important aspect of the engineering used in the construction of the Ark was ventilation. Noah's Ark had only one window and one door, which meant that ventilation was a significant issue. To address this, Noah and his family made holes in the roof and sides of the Ark to allow fresh air to enter and stale air to exit. In conclusion, the construction of Noah's Ark is an impressive example of large-scale engineering and construction. Although the description of the Ark in the Bible is relatively basic, it can be inferred from the available information that a great deal of skill and knowledge was needed to design and construct a ship of such dimensions and capacity. The Ark also demonstrates human ability to face and overcome seemingly impossible challenges. Despite technical limitations and the lack of modern machinery, the builders of the Ark were able to create a solid and durable structure that survived a catastrophic flood. The construction of Noah's Ark is a testament to human skill and creativity in engineering and construction, and continues to inspire modern engineers and builders today.